हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज रुपेश एंड यू आर वाचिंग सीपीबी नेट वीडियो सीरीज ऑन लिंक लिस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 15 फाइंड इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ टू सॉर्टेड लिंक लिस्ट सो इफ योर लिंक लिस्ट वन इज दिस एंड टू इज दिस एंड यू कैन सी दैट द एलिमेंट्स आर सॉर्टेड इन दिस सो द इंटरसेक्शन इज लाइक वी सी 2 2 4 4 6 6 कॉमन इन दीस टू लिंक लिस्ट राइट देयर इज नथिंग कॉमन अदर देन दीस थ्री एलिमेंट्स सो actually what the requirement is you have to return a new link list with all these 3 2 4 and 6 so this is what we need okay we need l3 okay you just have to return this pointer or the head 3 and you are done so how will do this let's see that and this is going to be very easy question because i have explained how to find intersection between that is okay and we are going to use the same trick here also okay so two pointer technique p1 and here we'll have p2 and we'll check is this element less than this element yes it is then actually we are looking for the similar ones right and if p2 is greater than then you have to increment this so that you can find next element maybe that would be equal to p2 so that's why we incremented p1 and now see you actually found this equal so what you have to do you have to create this new link list node 2 and here we'll have null and then increment these two pointers because now you have found both are equal so now p2 will come here and p1 will reach here so you'll compare this p3 is less than this yes then you have to increment p1 otherwise if let's suppose here you had 4 and here you had 3 then what would you do you will increment p2 because 4 is the greater element so the chances of getting 4 in this list is when only you increment and go and search for the next nodes right so you don't have to increment p1 in that case okay so now you are standing here so is this less than this no is this greater than this no then in that case it is equal to this so will have another node 4 and now this guy will point here and will increment p1 and p2 simultaneously now see this is less than this no is this greater than this no then they are equal and we are going to create another node i'll show you the code for this and then we'll sum up this video okay so now you are standing here and as you don't have anything after this we'll break this and we'll say that okay this is your start pointer take it and see i have all the common elements let me show you the code for this so this is exactly what they have asked intersection of two sorted link list this is your link list 1 link list 2 and see first of all we will be given head 1 and head 2 will loop on head 1 and head 2 so if any one of them is null meaning any one of them is reaching to the end then we don't have to take care further we'll just break from here okay so that's why we are using head 1 and head 2 and now see i'll first check head 1's data is less than head 2's data if that is the case then i'll just simply do head 1's is equal to head 1's next meaning i'll just increment it this right in the beginning i'll just do that and i won't do anything else again i'll go back and check head 1's data is there and head 2's data is there then i'll again come and see head 1's data is less than head 2's data no this time head 1's data is not less than head 2's data then we'll check if head 1's data is greater than head 2's data that is also not the case because they are equal so then we'll go ahead and do this operation this is very important operation if we are coming here for the first time then we have to check if your head is equal to equal to null in that case what we'll do head will have a new node with head 1's data you can use head 2's data also doesn't matter because both are equal so we created this head and then we initialize that to current and now from now onwards if we find any equal then we'll just assign that equal node to current's next and current will become current's next so we'll just keep on creating new node and keep on assigning to the current's next and just return this head in the end okay and yeah don't forget to hit this line we have head 1 and head 2 increment also as both are equal and let's run this i have already executed this one time and this should run yeah 
it's correct thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care